All right, so welcome back, guys. I've just uh, picked the bike up from Abbey Motorcycles in Leicester because what they've done for me today is fitted the Data Tool Track King as well as doing the first service. So not only is the bike alarmed, but it's now got a tracker on it. Where the fuck's he going? Oh, he's doing all right. Because after Mia, I don't really fancy losing another motorcycle. And I've got to say, these guys... Oh, Jesus, that is really dark. But these guys, they've uh, done a service on the bike. They're giving it a once over. I don't know what they've done with the actual clutch, but it feels a little weird. I gotta be honest though, it does feel good though. Just gotta just gotta take a little bit of getting used to. Because the biting point's in a different place, which is a bit weird, but it's gonna help with the uh, shifting up the gears a bit quicker, especially on acceleration. Yeah, essentially, this new tracker I've bought for the bike, it was £179 for the actual tracker and then I've had it fitted to the bike so that's obviously cost however much I don't really care you know as long as it's done so yeah this is just a little short video I mean the bike does feel good it's had its oil replaced new filter what the fuck is he doing getting past him I don't care Thank you. Thank you. But you got to say thank you to people who move over for you. I mean, if you don't, then you just a... Uh, it's just a horrible thing not to do, really. I mean, they didn't have to move over for me. They chose to. So like people like that just want to take up all the space in the road. It almost feels like a brand new bike. As weird as that sounds. And the bike does accelerate now. Like really, oh that. I mean, I only, I didn't really go that fast on that acceleration, but it just felt better. With that new oil in there, just feels that, just that bit better. I know they must have done some tweaks to this bike because it, it is running a lot crisper. It sounds a bit better as well. I don't know, I, I don't know, that might just be me, it might be in my head. Because it feels better, I automatically think it sounds better. I don't know, if that's, is that just me or what? I, when your bike goes in for a service, does it sound better to you when it comes back out? Let me know in the comments below. Right, so other than that, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, because of this whole YouTube partnership bollocks, so you can't monetize videos and whatnot, and yeah, I don't really make that much money because half my content isn't advertiser friendly anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna, obviously I'm still gonna upload to YouTube because that's my main platform. But then I'm going to pop videos onto Facebook as well. So if you wanted to, by all means, uh, add my uh, Moto Mafu Facebook page. Um, I'll be uploading the videos not only to YouTube, but to there as well. Like I said, I'm not going to make a huge amount of money. I know I'm not doing this. And especially now that YouTube have pulled their partnership, you've got to have something like a thousand subscribers plus like 11 hours worth of watch time in a certain time period I don't I don't fucking know but essentially those kind of figures are easily done you know there are other vloggers out there that can do those kind of figures that have those kind of figures so it can be done but I find for smaller youtubers such as myself I mean I've got what 382 subscribers 
as of right now, there or thereabouts. You know, it's going to get very difficult for me to make that thousand subscriber mark, that milestone. I mean, it's not impossible, but you know, it's going to be very, very difficult. You know, I've been doing this for what, three years now, give or take. So, you know, like 100 subs a year. Now you would hope the more subs you get, the more shares you get, which leads to more subscribers on top of that. So it should go up. You know, you start off with one person, they share to one other person, you've got two people. Then those people share to another two people, so that's four people. And then those four people share eight people, 16, 32, you know, you get it. I mean, it doesn't work like that, but you know, that's the theory behind it. Because growth on YouTube is very, very difficult for small YouTubers. And now they're, because of this whole Logan Paul scandal and everything else, it's just made it even harder. So not only were advertisements being pulled from YouTube, the algorithm gets affected as well. So, I mean, a lot of my traffic on my channel comes from recommended videos, from other people's videos. And then with that, you get more subscribers, more views and all the rest of it. Now with this new way YouTube's working, their algorithm is gonna make these smaller YouTubers that aren't a part of the YouTube partner program going to be very more they're going to be a lot they're not going to appear in the recommended lists as much if at all which makes the discovery of your channel that's so much more difficult it's going to have to be just self-promotion everywhere now i know there's a lot of youtubers and whatnot that use things like patreon and gofundme i disagree with those because those are essentially ask begging for money it you, you know it makes you no different to the guy on the street asking for change you know monetizing your videos yeah you're not going to make very much money from it granted but it's free <laughs> that felt amazing but you know monetization on youtube was free you know, it didn't cost anybody anything. The only people it was costing any, anything was, you know, the advertisers who were showing their advertisements on YouTube. Oh, that's it. Pull out, why don't you? I mean, yeah, it was costing your viewers the, like 30 seconds or so for the advert, or if they're the skippable ads, five seconds of your time. But it's not costing you anything other than a little tiny bit of time on a video. And I, so it's completely different to specifically going out and saying, oh, sign up to my Patreon. You know, make a pledge of like five, ten pound a month. That's just begging. You know, I'm not a charity case. And yeah, you can argue, but you know, people don't force people to do it. And quite rightly so, they don't force people to do it, but they push it. They push it so hard. Like with the whole Jake Paul, Logan Paul pushing their merch constantly. Oh, buy this merch, buy this merch, you need this merch. No, we fucking don't. Stop shoving it in our faces. Just fuck off, you immature pricks. You're a fucking cancer on YouTube, go away. Well, anyway, I'm going to cut it off here. So please like and subscribe, share with your friends if you think that they'd, they'd find this interesting. Um, and I promise you there will be more interesting vlogs coming soon. Um, there's one that I've made, um, this, this one and the next one probably won't go out until after I've moved house because you're about to see where I live. So uh, for anyone who's watching that wants a free bike, by the time these videos have gone out, the bikes aren't here anymore. So yeah, please like, subscribe, share. You know, those shares and the likes, they're really going to help from now on, especially with the way YouTube's going. So I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind just hitting that thumbs up button be a massive help so uh oh, let's put the alarm on there we go and i'll catch you all next time bye bye